So this short video is for Lloyd. He has some problems with his update of the Connect3 navigation system. So a little demonstration. So of course this applies only to the Connect3 system that doesn't have the SD card slot. And that has card play and that you can update yourself by Wi-Fi or by USB. So I simply cut myself this little SD card. You need at least 33 gigs. Um, and make sure that you take uh, a writable card and format it in FAT32. If you hesitate, you can maybe try another card to see if the card isn't uh, the problem why you can't perform your update. So I formatted this card and now I'm going to put it inside the USB socket. You better not use USB ups or something like that. And when you put it in, it detects USB device straight away, as you can see here. And we go to settings, next page, system update, map update, update through USB device, save map information to USB device and press start okay and now when this is done you can take out your USB again you go inside to the PC and connect it to the map update tool of Nissan so back inside Lloyd I place the USB stick in the PC and as I already installed the map update tool, it recognizes the stick right away. This is quite interesting. It gives me an error in Dutch, um, but it says that there's too little space left on the USB stick to install the update. Let's see what's going on here. USB sticks, as you can see, I have 100 MB used, so um, too little space uh, isn't really the case. So let's try again. Putting it in. And this is quite old. As you can see now, it gives a confirmation that my system is up to date. And I didn't change anything, I only plugged the stick on several times in again to open the application and now what you should do is go to this last tab add maps and then the easiest way and the most safest way i think is to use this complete map reset and update so you click just there and it turns and it will take for about uh, two hours depending on your uh, internet connection the speed of your internet connection and afterwards you can go back to the car you plug your usb stick in it will recognize the map update and it will take another 20 minutes or so to install all those updates as i showed in my previous video and i'll put the link again right there so it could be interesting as well to show you what should be installed on the usb stick so when you prepare the USB stick in the car, you only have one folder with TumTum and DS update. And there are two folders and one file. And here again, there's some subfolders. Uh, it isn't really clear what they contain. Uh, there are really a lot of levels. But you should see this structure though. So metadata packages and checksum MD5. As you can see they're really little. So once you perform the update and you install the cars, you should have an extra folder and that is the TomTom NDS full with a folder and a subfile. And in this folder you have a data, a voice data. 
entry files and so on. So Lloyd, uh, I hope this video helped you. If you still don't manage to update your maps, I would um, advise that you go back to your Nissan dealership as your 2020 car still is under warranty. So see you in the very next video. Bye bye.